decided to make a music video. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually explain exactly why I actually did that. So, <clears throat> oh boy, I'm getting fat and this thing is like really zoomed in, which is just not supposed to be like that. Okay, so there was a couple of reasons why I wanted to make a vi music video. Uh, one was that I wanted to expand on my experience on making music videos and it actually came down to knowing how to point match. So what is point match editing? So basically what that does is that you line all the videos up in a certain position relative to whatever music track or audio track that you have there. And what that does is it makes it look as if you're talking in each of the videos at the same time. So how that works is that when you make a track, despite what that is, why is this door all the way open? And why is this down? <laughs> That's why I keep making noise like it's doing. Okay, when you do make a track, you obviously have to make the track, you have to put the lyrics on it, and yada, yada, yada. You know how most music videos go. The beauty of point max editing is, and it's also a double-edged sword because it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience to get almost every video correct where you're actually limp syncing to the track. You're not really singing the track itself, but it's more towards getting the track of where it's supposed to be so you can get those videos exactly how, basically match up to the song. So I wanted to try this myself. I wanted to see how much effort I can put into making uh, music videos and see how far it could get, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So I wanted to try my hand at that to see how good my ability was in getting that together because since I already, because since I already knew how point matching works. The second reason is that I wanted to do something in house music, not just hip hop and not just drum and bass and yada, 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 yada. I wanted to see how far I can get with that. And so I had, I found music videos interesting on the audio side as well as the uh, video side. With that said, um, I do plan on making more music videos, um, but I want to have a little bit more softer, or not softer, but, but more, more polished look in house music. And I want to be able to put myself in it as well as like cast a few of my friends and whatnot to basically depict a better experience as far as house music goes because there isn't a lot, of, uh, there isn't enough of that as far as music videos go in house music. There is a lot of house music out there, especially deep house, tribal house, progressive, electro, industrial, retro, future, bass. You know, there's a whole bunch of house music tracks on there. A tenth of that, if not less, actually gets music videos. So I wanted to see who had music videos, especially on my friends list, had actually actually had house music tracks. And I wonder if I could actually start a trend in a specific genre. That was the, it was basically an experiment into how far I can actually get into house music. See what, what else I can do as far as like making music videos go because that's what I want to do, putting that together. So um, that was basically the, the couple of reasons why I wanted to do it. So the third part is that I want to get my own face out there and actually promote my own brand through the action music and if you guys had seen the clothing I was wearing which was South Pole and plugs I'm trying to promote plugs rather than South Pole but because I had a lot of South Pole shirts you know you know how that goes there it was multiple reasons I wanted to really just get my face out there get my name out there and just promote the fact that you can do music videos for house music and I wanted to start that trend so my focus is to get into modern house music because there's already there's already a wide variety of music in different genres so i wanted to focus on just modern house music and i wanted to actually gear it in a way where it's like based off my theme song or the theme song of mundane audio head i want to see how far i can get with that so i have a lot of sound design that i need to do and i want to see um, how far it goes so my specialty is going to be in modern house music not just future house music disco house music or any of the kind of house music but modern house music which is like you know it's 2020 or like music of the now i guess you could say so that's how 
that's that's one of the reason why I want to you know, put it together. So the ones who have seen my video, thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. It was a small number in getting the music. Or I'm sorry, as far as the video goes, it was a small number, but I don't mind taking that. It's going to lead to larger numbers in the future, and that's what I want. But there's more stuff coming. There's more music coming. More music videos coming. It's just it's just going to take a process because everything's going to be going through Premiere Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, the hip hop video. Um, I'm going to uh, attempt to put post the lyrics there. I just haven't been able to do it recently but that's that's where I'm at right now so recently I actually just purchased this Rode microphone which cost me about $300 and then there was another Rode microphone that just came in the mail which cost me another 50 60 bucks I haven't tried out the Rode it's, it's called the Rode Go Rode Go microphone um, and this one's uh, once on my camera that I'm speaking on is the Rode Video Pro both can be purchase on B&H. I think it's a very good microphone. Uh, it's rechargeable and it recharges via USB. It actually automatically turns on every time you turn on the camera so you don't have to actually press the button that's behind the back which is something I definitely love. So I love the, the microphone so far. I'm going to continue to use this. Um, it takes out the other microphone I have which also was a shotgun microphone. I mean it, had, it takes two extra batteries but the issue was it wasn't, it's not like a modern microphone where I can just get in and play. You know, you actually have to turn it on, you have to make sure the batteries are there, the light is on, blah, blah, blah. And besides, that's more for, more, due to the length of its size, it's more of a, a boom microphone. So if you had like a C stand or a boom pole or something like that, it goes specifically on that. If you're doing like a short film or anything like that, that was specific one would be like on a shock mount. And if you're recording like cinematic shots, it would be like kind of a pie. There's like two settings on that. Great microphone, but it has a, a static key. Uh, it had a staticky sound to it, which made me decide to purchase an another microphone and actually use that. So, still good microphone, but I like this one better. So, that was my review. I wanted to add that in there as a bonus for you guys. So, hopefully you guys are staying healthy out there and staying safe. I know there is a lot of stuff going on, um, but I do plan on unleashing more stuff. A lot of it's mainly still ideas, but they're all a lot of it's uh, solidified. I don't know where I was going with that. There is more stuff coming out. I just had to put the pen. I had to put the pen to the paper. I have to make sure, and I have to um, get the paper, you know, solidified into a video project. So right now there's just quite a few things going on, but this is pretty much the starting point. As far as Facebook goes, I'm going to be posting less text-based posts, and then on YouTube, I'm going to be increasing on the behind behind the scenes stuff. Twitter, I have to re I have to re refigure that that one because I'm a YouTuber. I'm trying to. Uh, focus more on putting more YouTube stuff now that I have a little bit more experience I have just a little bit more time and I'm not out doing you know just random stuff yeah this is there is a definitive future on this now that I have the equipment that I need to do the things I, I want to do I want to be able to show you guys yada 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 hopefully if I get the time to do it I want to be able to um, talk about the technology industry and how and what led me up to this point so that's going to be another video in and of itself so all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video